An arrest in a Rockland murder mystery, police say, was not a random incident. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman spoke with the victim's family, who says the arrest leads them to more questions than answers. It's a story you'll see only on CBS 13. We're at a loss to understand. Joseph Headley speaking with us after a month-long investigation into the death of his nephew, 48-year-old Cameron Gabriel, a man who he says had no enemies. For the family, finding out that, yeah, it was not completely random. How the hell do you make sense of that? Police say they know the connection between Cameron and his suspected killer, 29-year-old Damon Benson, and the motive. But they're not releasing that information to the public or Cameron's family. How was he? involved with this guy. What was the relationship? Cameron was found shot dead in his Midas Avenue apartment in late July. Family says he had returned home from an online date that night. He was found by his roommate days later. Neighbors say this kind of crime doesn't happen in Rockland. For this to happen in our neighborhood is, is scary. Rancho Cordova police gave Rockland police information that led them to a witness who identified Benson as the shooting suspect. He was already in Sacramento County Jail on six felony charges, including torture, dismemberment, and battery, arrested on August 2nd, just one week after Cameron was killed. Rockland police say the cases spanning two counties are connected, but aren't saying how or whether Cameron is the victim in the Sacramento County case. Family calls this arrest progress, but with no known connection between these two men, this leaves them with more questions about this mystery murder. It's further makes less sense of the current senselessness. Benson has been transferred to the South Placer County Jail, booked on murder charges.